Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm going to be packing for my holidays. I'm going to Mexico for two weeks. So I thought yeah, I'd bring these along with me and just show you what I'm going to pack. I have pretty much laid everything out but I'm just going to go through everything that I've got and then I'm going to be packing in my case. I'm very like a, I have to be a very organised packer because there's so many different things that go into like what I need to take. So anyways, let's get right into it. all of my clothes, shoes, then I'm going to move on to toiletries, makeup, jewellery, all the rest of it. Can you just don't really need to see these but anyways, um, knickers of course, I always add extra knickers, I just feel like when I go away you never know what's going to happen, you know, like you just got to take enough knickers for your nana, your dog and everybody else. But I got some new packs from Primark because I really like these, um, they just like fit really nicely, I think they're only like three four pound and you get a pack of three so i got those i got them in these colors as well and then i got these ones and then i just got the individual like nude pair just in case i've got anything that's a little bit see-through or anything like that those are going to be fine underneath and bra wise nipple covers <laughs> then i've got like a sticky bra because when i'm on holiday i've always got like tops that are like backless, sideless, like you name it. So I need a bra that's going to like fit all of that. The tops I don't like to wear just like without anything because I don't exactly have, like I'm not really blessed in this region and I just can't have the whole flat ironing board thing going on. So I have to have something. And then I've just got my trusty old nude bra and then I've also got like a backless strapless bra as well. Just again, you never know with all the different kinds of tops I'm going to be wearing. I just need to take this with me. It's pyjamas. So I always just take like light pyjamas. Mexico is like 40 degree heat. So I've got like these cute little play suit things. Um, I've got it in this like nice grey colour. These are all just from Primark as well. And I've got another little play suit just in a pink colour. Minis. <laughs> So I've got some like older ones that I've gotten from like previous years but then I got some new ones so got a nice little red one. All of these are like kind of like thong bottoms so I don't like massive bums so they've got like a little cheeky bum just so I can get my cheeks nice and tanned you know. Got to. And I always kind of bring ones for like every day I'm just one of those on a Cute little burgundy, a trusty old black bikini, love another Primark one. And this one I think is from Zaful, Zaful, don't know how you say it, but again, it's kind of like quite little on your booby area, um, it covers just what it needs to. And then some bottoms. These are my new bikinis that I bought, so I bought an old poly one and it's absolutely tiny but it just looks so good on. So I got like You've probably seen these and I just don't know who I think I am buying this. Um, I don't feel like fully in shape either. But you know, we're going for it. We're going to be confident gals. And I'm going to wear this. This cute little bikini and it's got the little beading in the middle. This is probably like my favourite fitting one. Um, obviously, it's I like the ones where you can tie them yourself as well. Um, especially for tops because my top tends to be bigger than the bottom and then again a cute little thong bum love this one and the next one I've got is just like a little bandeau so it's like this sage colour again a little and I've got like an over like mesh thing to go on top so one whole outfit sorted this one it, this one kind of just covers the nip and that is all so it's this print, again with matching little thong bottom. These all fit really, really nicely on as well. Nice bright one. So I got this little top to match. 
like uh, gold side pieces with it being sheen I feel like these are gonna probably fade in terms of the colouring but that's fine I literally just got it for this holiday but it's this nice blue colour so that is it for the bikinis I believe I've got about 14 there again I'm going for 14 days on to the daytime stuff um I got loads of like little shorts from Primark for only £2.53 so I basically got loads of them and I just paired any top that I've got with them um so I've got like a little bandeau just to go with any pair of the shorts I've got this cute little like lacy top got this like little crochet set that I got quite a few years ago from Primark and I've never actually worn it so them are the shorts and that can just go perfectly over a little bikini. And there's the top. So I just bought this little top as well, just from Primark. Just again, just to go over the top with any of the little shorts. So these are the shorts that I got. I prefer wearing shorts and stuff on holiday um, during the day and stuff. I just feel more comfortable. So I got them in this colour. Got them in blue, in turquoise, in white, orange, grey and finally black so I just think you just can't go wrong with shorts like that they're just so easy to chuck on with a little top like I've got loads of like little crop tops like this just all different colours Um, so yeah that's what I'm pairing them with and like I said they're only like two three pounds I've got this little sort of play suit from Zara as well so I thought I could wear this for during the day and um, just nice and easy to chuck over things and then I have a few sort of like over like actual beach wear in terms of a little see-through like sheer play suit I've got another black one that's like bandeau um, and then just another plain black play suit so I've just got a few things like that again I've got like 14 things I know I could probably rewear a lot of these um, but I'm just one of those girls I just like an outfit for every day when I'm on holiday why not before I go on to the nighttime stuff I'm just going to show you the shoes I'm going to take with shoes I'm one of those people who takes a hundred pairs of shoes and wears one when I go I love shoes and I have so many pairs but when I go on holiday I just don't need them I just need that one comfy pair that's going to work for all of them so that's what I've tried to do it's so hard to do because I just love shoes and I'd love a different pair of shoes for every single outfit but I just know 25 kilos is just not gonna fester 14 pairs of shoes so for daytime sliders I have loads of sliders um like I've got like a Gucci pair but I don't really want to ruin them with sand and whatnot so I got these I've seen everyone wearing them they're like you know the Yeezy style slides um they're so so comfy I got these from Pretty Little Thing and I think they're about 16 pound I got them in this like beigey sand color I just think they're gonna go with everything they're super super comfy and you can wear socks with them as well you know why not so there are my daytime ones these are the only daytime ones i'm going to take because i just don't need any others then i've got a pair of these crocheted wedges with clear straps these are going to go with everything they're not too high as well i've took these on holiday and they're just really really handy so like i said clear they're going to go with every single outfit um that's why i'm taking them then not too long ago i got these from zara i mean i don't know if i'm going to wear these because they will go with everything but they're like a heel version of the wedges um, and they've got these two clear straps and they're really comfy that's why I got them I can walk like them in a pro if I do say so myself I'm rubbish at walking in heels but these I can actually walk in really well they're not too high they're perfect height again they'll go with everything my only issue is I have very fat feet already and then when I go on holiday my feet swell and they look like puddings and I just don't know how these two clear straps are going to look I feel like my feet are going to go very fat and then I'm going to be like bulging I don't even know if I could get my feet in them so that's my issue but I'm going to take them anyway they're cute I think they're £30 from Zara you can probably still get them so they're quite recent um but yeah be optimistic I know I could probably just go with the wedges I thought but what if I want to heal some nights you know and then for the nights that I want a flat I've just got these gold like platform sandals and the tie up your leg I just think these are really really handy and easy 
um, if I want a flat option and they're going to go with pretty much everything. So I got gold because it'll, like, if I wear gold jewellery any outfit is going to go whether it's gold or not. Um, so yeah that's why I got these ones. I think I got these off eBay quite a few years ago. Um, I was just looking for some this particular thing like gold platform wedged sandals. So that's what I got. As it in terms of the shoes I'm so proud of myself for whittling it down to just four pairs of shoes. Normally I take about 500 pairs of shoes, so eh, nighttime outfits. I'm going to start with like the shorts and top options. So I've got quite a few tops. I've got this one from Zara and it just like ties at your neck. Um, it's like a little boob tube and I just thought that would be nice and comfy, nice and easy to put on with a pair of shorts. I've got this from Zara as well. I absolutely love this top. It's kind of like corseted, it's satin, it's a nice turquoise, it's got a little bit of a cowl neck and it's just beautiful. Absolutely love this. Yeah, I'm going to wear that with a nice pair of shorts, denim, black, white, whatever. I do also have this halter neck top. I just think it's really nice and it's very holiday. Even if we want like a very like simple night, not dressing up too much. This with a pair of shorts, again, will just go perfect. And then I've just got this, um, it's kind of like a pleated uh, bandeau kind of top. I just thought, yeah, this would look nice with, again, just a pair of shorts, um, just popped on. And then I just got this one from Zara the other day. I got it in a large, and I think it is a little bit too big. If I wear a bra, it might be okay. Um, but it's like this patterned top. It's like satin, um, a nice uh, thin straps, and you can tie it nicely at the back. Now onto the shorts, and I've got to go with them. So I just got these from Primark. Um, they are just a black a pair of shorts that are a little bit longer in length and are too, like, showing your bum cheeks. And they've got like a white stitching on them. So I feel like they'll go with quite a lot. Next, I didn't have a pair. So I got these from Zara. Just a nice white pair of shorts. Again, you can't go wrong with a wet white pair of shorts for holiday. Can not get my words out there? Then I got these from Sheen. These are more like black grey type. Uh, they are a little bit more bum cheeky. Um, so if you're not into that, probably don't go for them. Um, but I got these from Sheen and they fit really nice. For reference, I am a size 8 bombs. And I got these denim shorts from Zara. These fit absolutely perfect, size 8. Absolutely love them. This is moving on to like two pieces, sets, dresses, whatnot. So I've got this, like, it's kind of like a high neck top, but it's an open back and it's basically gives you a bit of under boob. And then a matching skirt. It's quite long, um, but at the back it's got like this thong sort of detailing, if that makes sense. Um, so I thought that would be quite nice. I might not wear it, but I'm just going to take it. Then I've got an old poly dress with some nice clear straps. Again, can't go wrong with something like this. So I thought I'll take that along just in case I need it. I've got this cute little dress from Zara. Um, it's like ribbed and it's got some like strap detailing at the top. So this looks so, so nice on. I actually posted this on my Instagram. I've done like a little real clothing haul when I went shopping. Um... So if you want to check that out, go check it out. And again, I got this cute little two-piece, so a nice beaded skirt. Nice cream colour with a matching top. I think this is quite more of a fancier one, so if we're going out to look a little bit more fancy, then that's what I'm going to wear. I got these. They're like these um, sheer pants. They're like a croc nude print from Pretty Little Thing. I'm going to wear those with just like a white plain top and like white knickers underneath just so it all matches and then I got this two piece from Zara so it's this nice ribbed skirt this fits amazing by the way it's nice and thick as well so it's some lush material it's got like this ruched detailing on one leg and then I've got a bandeau top and you can tie it round your neck I had those in blue as well like a nice bright blue um, like the one I've just showed you for the dress but I liked it in the orange just because I haven't really got anything orange like that kind of colour um, so I thought I'd get that. Then I got these from Mars the Label. These pants, by the way, they fit like an absolute dream. So you definitely need these. So it's like these shorts with little lace detailing. And you get the matching bra. Obviously this is see-through, so I'm just going to wear a bra underneath. Just like a nude bra. And I just feel, a, I do feel a bit bare with just the bra. But I think Mexico is going to be a bit too hot for this. Um, but I'm going to take it anyway. It is the matching blazer. It's like a crop blazer. And it's got like the lace bottom. Absolutely love this set on, by the way. Like, oh! And then another Mars the Label set. I must say with Mars the Label, their quality is always insane. 
so definitely if you're looking for some good quality clothing try there but then I've got this um, a two piece so it's like a little crop top basically and you can tie it around your neck it's like that wine red colour so it's going to look lovely on holiday with a matching skirt you can adjust this uh, ruched section to how high you want it on your leg I've got these little bits for a pretty little thing so it's like a little crop top nice pattern there halter neck it's sheer so I'm gonna have to wear a little bra or little covers underneath the so leggings this looks amazing on I absolutely love it I wasn't too sure on this just because I'm like I said I'm not gifted in the top end department um, and it's quite like it's see-through this top section so I would have to wear a bra but the bra situation just isn't going well for us and um, but it's really really comfy super stretchy so this is a nice one for like you know the end of the holiday when you've put a few pounds on uh, to say the least so I'm going to take that one with us I'm going to keep the tag on though because I don't know if I'm actually going to wear it if I don't I'm just going to return it because I don't think I'll ever wear it this one I absolutely love 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 so this dress it basically I got it from the shape section as well so I love the shape section just the shapes are so much better but it's kind of like as you can see halter neck low cut and then we've got like the skirt section and it's like ruched either side of like where your hips are and then it's got this split so it's kind of like a maxi dress but it just oh it's so pretty on I think that's one of my favourites that's going to be one of like the fancy nights you know when I want to impress Jack I'll just pop that one out of the bag then I've got this two piece it's really hard to sort of show you here um, but obviously it's kind of like poofy arms it goes like this you've got a tie at the middle and it's a long sleeve again I feel like this is more of a, like a little fancy night one with a matching skirt this skirt fits really really good by the way um, normally I struggle with my sizing just because I've got little waist but like I haven't got a massive bum but I've got like bigger legs bigger bum I suppose to my waist ratio so sometimes it's really tight on my bum but big on my waist um, but this fits really nice again it's got a nice split here as well I like a little split on holiday you know just a cheeky little leg go oh, that is it for the nighttime outfits and I know that's probably a lot and I'm probably not gonna wear them all but I just always like to be safe than sorry next bits we're going to move on to is just like the essentials so obviously like a sun cream repellent tablets that you need to take like paracetamol ibuprofen. I've, I've just got a fear of going on holiday and having a pain and not having a paracetamol or something to help like couldn't think of anything worse so them are the little essentials that I'm going to take obviously toothbrush toothpaste don't really think you need to see that but you know we're going factor 50 because we went to Mexico 2019 and we only took factor 30 and we had to put it on that much because we couldn't stay out of the pool it was that hot we had to always be in the pool and obviously you have to just put more and more sun cream on and that 30 just went straight away and we're just like 30 just wasn't enough because of how hot it was it was like nearly 40 degree heat and Jack has really really good skin like he never ever hardly burns and he was burning because he just couldn't apply the sun cream quick enough so we had to like buy loads of factor 50 when we're out there so this time I think we've got about five bottles of factor 50 and we'll definitely use it because you know we need that I also got a few little bits from look fantastic Use my code LF Danielle, LFTF Danielle if you want any discount as well from Look Look Fantastic. I know you can buy like Doll Beauty, like every brand there. So if you need that, get that. But I use my code. <laughs> but I got this. It's like a um, Factor 50, but it's it like enhances your tan so I didn't want a, like an oil or anything that's just gonna burn us I've got really 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 pale skin you'll be able to see at the minute how pale I am this is my natural skin normally I wear tan all the time but I don't right now because I'm waiting to tan to go on holiday and I hate being pale but anyways when I go on holiday I really want tan so I'm wearing factor 50 but I want to use like something that's going to help with the tan as well you know speed that process up because it takes me so long to tan so long especially with how pale I am right now so I need all the help I can get so I got this Vichy factor 50 enhanced tan solar protective water with better carotene so I'm assuming that's what helps with the tan so I got that you know I'm gonna try it out see how it goes I think it was about 20 pound roughly same with this one um 
So I wanted like an after sun oil, so something that's really going to nourish my skin. Obviously I know you can get creams and stuff, um, but I just wanted an oil this time just to try it out. And this mm, looks beautiful, just look at that. Like you can just see in the bottle how nice that looks. So I'm going to be wearing this, looking golden, not have to put any like body stuff on. Just you know, you know, you just know the vibes don't you. Um, golden tan maximizer and it's one month tan prolonging after sun oil so it's going to help prolong my tan make it last it means I can use it when I come back off holiday and just try and maintain that tan you know try and keep that Mexican sun on my skin as much as much as possible there are two things I bought just to take especially Obviously I've got sunglasses, I'm taking about four pairs of sunglasses because I always break and lose sunglasses. I only got them from Primark because, you know. I do also have prescription sunglasses. But the issue with that, obviously they were a bit more expensive. I don't want to lose or break them. But basically when I'm on holiday, the sun I'm squinting a lot. And no, I do wear contacts all the time, I've got them in now. And when I'm on holiday... I don't like wearing contacts during the day because it means I've got them in literally all day, all night. And then I come home, my eyes are like really watery, they start to hurt a little bit. So if I can help it, I'll not wear contact lenses. So if I can just wear my sunglasses, which are prescription, then that's great. But the issue is, when I go in for like breakfast or like indoors to have my dinner, I'm going to have to take my normal glasses around with us because I cannot see for the life of us without anything in my eyes. I'm blind. Like blind. I literally, I can't see. So that's the only issue with prescription sunglasses is that they're not like bifocal where they change with the sun. I could have got that but you know it's very expensive. So I just, I've got like prescription sunglasses and my glasses. And then obviously I'm going to take contact lenses for the night. So with wigs, I have to take lots of different colours, lots of outfits, you know what I'm saying. So I'm taking this one, a nice little ginge. I like this one straight, so I'm going to keep it straight. I know on holiday though, with wigs, I want to try and keep like lighter densities, keep them up if I can, half up, half down like this. But I do also like them down, you know, that's the issue. But in Mexico, it's so hot, so, so hot that when I've got a wig on I just want to tear it off but I love the look of them so like I suffer um, but I just think the best thing is is if you're getting too hot just taking like a grip or like a bubble with you and just like getting it off the back of your neck that's the best advice I could give is when people ask me like oh what do you do on holiday when it's so hot with wigs and stuff either don't wear one um, or if you do I like to wear them on holiday I always take a bubble or something and if I can just get it where it's like off the back of his, off the back of my neck, off the back of my back where it's sticky and hot and the breeze can just get through my back and like up the back of my neck then I'm totally fine. Um, so that would be my my recommendation is just doing that, just to keep it up and away off your head and you will feel a lot cooler. I always say as well, try and get a lighter density, shorter ones as well tend to be better, although I just don't follow that rule and I'll go for very long because, you know, as you do. I've got this new gorgeous one from Lily's Hair and it's a lush grey colour, I haven't worn this one yet but I'm going to do it in a nice wave, um, but yeah. The waves have dropped out of it so I just need to restyle that one. I then have my Mila wig from Nuala. So it's a nice brown with some blonde in. This will look gorgeous curled I believe. Um, nice half up half down with that. That's just been washed as well. Um, hence why it's not styled. That's another job I've got to do before I go. I've only got a day and I've got six wigs to style so that's going to be amazing. Then with my blondes, I don't know why I need so many blondes. But I've got this one, it's my new one from Nuala and it's the Nola wig. It's just a nice light blonde and I just think it's going to look gorgeous with a nice tan. So I'm going to have to take this one. And I think I might just go waved with this. It looks quite nice in its natural state. But a nice wave, like loose curl, I'll probably go for that one. Then just a classic is my Lena one from Nuala wigs. Um, the blonde in this just is beautiful. Um, the colours just are so complementary of, of each other and I'm going to do this in like big bouncy blow dry curls um, and it's a little bit shorter as well so a little bit cooler on this one. 
gotta have a red in there you know you never know when you might need a red or just a color so this for whenever I'm feeling a little bit fancy this one looks really nice straight or curly but I probably will go curly and I've got a nice super long this one's quite heavy inside it's um I don't know the name of it but it's from Rena Lee and it's a nice long 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 brown one I just love brown brown is my spirit animal so I've got to take this one I just have to and I'm going to do this in nice loose curls as well I don't know why I need another blonde but I think I'm just going to travel in this one this is a lush platinum from um from Fabulous and I'm just going to do a nice loose wave in this one. This one I'm going to travel in because it's, it's a little bit lighter, it's really comfy inside and airy and I can tie it up if I wish. So it's got a full lace and it's got a nice back to it so like I said it's going to be nice and secure and I can get it up off the back of my neck as soon as I get in Mexico I'm going to want to rip a wig off so anything that I can get that's nice and high on my that's, that I can tie up then I'm gonna love and be best friends with. So I have a um, pink, it's like a lilac with some pink face frame and shorter and a blonde, like a platinum blonde bob as well from ZL that I'm gonna be taking as well. I don't have them right here with this but yeah why do I need that many wigs? That is one, two, ten wigs. Or like I just feel like it's going to be better when I'm on holiday they're already there styled fresh wigs I don't have to faff with removing the glue sorting the glue back out the next day so if I've just got a fresh wig with a clean lace every single day then I'm going to love my life so that's kind of the logic behind it whether I need that many I don't know but here I am. Stop there. Sorry. I know I'm like a little bit late to the party now. But um, I know I look completely different as well. But anyways, here I am. I'm continuing packing. It is the next day. I'm at work. This is my lunch break. Obviously very last minute as always with everything. So to apply my wigs, I always use a got to be spray. This is a very big bottle as you can see. I think I'm going to leave this just because it's too big and... I might just get one th when we go through the airport. Um, I know there's a boot in Newcastle Airport, so I'll just get one of these. But I need to put that on my list before I forget. Then I'm just going to take this little spray bottle. It's just really handy if I need to spray a little bit of water on the wig. What I like to do is get a little bit of volume on the front. A lot of the time that can drop, um, especially in the humid, hot weather. So I'm going to take this with me, just empty, just so I can fill it up whenever I need to. And it's just nice and easy. I also ordered some lace removal like glue spray so isopropanol basically I ordered some off Amazon but I'm waiting for that to come and then obviously taking a big paddle brush for all of my wigs two barrels of the walker tape basically I don't usually use this but I'm taking it just in case and then I'm taking the mode fix lace glue from Mora mode this is a nice strong hold it's gonna last when I'm very hot and sweaty so it's a very good glue option if I need it then I'm also taking, as a third option for gluing, is the Bold Hold Liquid Gold. So this is a really, really gentle, nice lace hold and it is going to last through any sweating as well. In terms of application, I've got my tail comb and I've also got a little brush here, what I use to apply the glue. I bought some new bobbles and stuff from Primark, so those were only £1, so I'm taking those. And I also got a pack of bobby pins, can't go wrong. Final essentials is a grip. Just when I'm styling, these are nice and easy and handy. And then finally, just some hair oil. The hair can tend to get a little bit more dry in the heat. Um, and especially when I'm styling, so every time I use heat, I like to use a little bit of that oil. That is me signing out. I'll keep you updated with the holiday. I hope you enjoyed my little packing video. Um, I just, fingers crossed, I haven't forgot anything. I'm going to honestly keep saying that. But thanks so much for watching anyways. I'll see you all next time in my next video. I might vlog this, but I'm not too sure. But let me know if you want to see any of it. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe.